guys welcome back to the channel monica louv here with the love messages so today we're going to be doing your reading from the 8th to the 14th of august now this is going to be a general reading so it may resonate with you it may not if it does resonate with you there will be a link in the description box for the extended In this reading, Taurus, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. So your biggest challenge for this week is the Eight of Wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge, Taurus, has a lot to do with the Eight of uh, Wands energy. I feel with the Eight of Wands, there's something here about communication. Either there's a difficulty in communication or there's some sort of desire to communicate, but it's you know, not coming through here. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the uh, Queen of Swords. So I feel like in the recent past, there was a brand new beginning that happened between you and a specific person. I do feel like this person you decided to have a new beginning with really felt like this was the one. Like, this is a soulmate. This is the person I'm supposed to be with. This is the person that you know, really brings the fulfillment that I'm looking for. We're going to get some more information on this when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the present moment, Taurus, you have the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. So in the present moment, something here has either come to an end or it is coming to an end, and it has created a lot of pain and trauma here. I am getting that someone, and this could be you or your person. I feel like this is you, though. For some of you, you're dealing with a Gemini, an Aquarius, or possibly a Libra for some of you. There's something here about wanting to know why something ended very badly. It's like, I need answers as to why the situation didn't work out the way that I thought it would. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. In the near future, you have the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So in the near future, there's something here about anxiety, fear, stress, worry, about something here that you know is coming to an end. But the idea of it coming to an end may be something that you don't want here, okay? There's also an energy here of isolation. We're going to see why all of this is showing up and what you need to know in a moment. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups in reverse. So somebody here is choosing to withdraw emotionally from you, okay? Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, again, there's a reason why it's happening. We're going to talk about it as we get into your reading, okay? So let's get into your reading and let's do some clarification. Let's clarify your challenge. So the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the fact that something here is coming to an end or has come to an end. I feel for majority of you watching this, this situation, it has been very painful for you. It has come to an end or it is coming to an end. There's so much confusion surrounding why this situation is coming to an end, why it's not working. And you may be finding it very difficult, Taurus, to completely disconnect yourself from the situation situation. Okay. So even though these things may be happening and they're factors that are taking place in your life right now that you may feel like you don't have control over, your biggest challenge here is about being able to communicate how you feel, communicate why you feel a certain way about something coming to an end, communicating why, you know, this situation may be coming to an end in general. Sirens outside. So there's some sort of important message here. Sirens just stopped. 
Okay. So there's something here that you're being called to know or learn when it comes to how you feel about something. Okay. There's something here intuitively Taurus that I'm picking up about you bottling things up inside. It's like you feel a certain way about something. You don't like something. You, you, you don't like the fact that something here has been very painful for some of you. Someone passed away recently and it's been so hard for you to deal with that. Um, for others of you, this is about someone here keeping you as an option or not really knowing where you stand with this person. And for others of you, this is about someone who ghosted you or left you. And it's like, there's something here about you finding it challenging to get over this situation, but part of you being able to get over it is communicating, expressing how you feel, whether that's through writing, whether that's through communicating with someone important, whether that's through therapy, whether that's with your partner, whatever it is, you're being called this week to, 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 to recognize those feelings that you have within yourself and find a way to express it because bottling things up inside, it only leads to more, um, issues okay you know um diseases health issues etc okay and that's your biggest challenge so let's talk about the recent past let's clarify the king of swords so the king of swords is clarified by the six of wands you have the six of pentacles and the magician okay so in the recent past i feel like um for many of you there was somebody here who was really successful in the past. They manifested exactly what it was that they wanted. I do feel like to some extent this was you, okay? Um, I do feel like you were very generous towards somebody here in the past um, only because you were able to do so. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords in the recent past for Taurus. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. So in the recent past, I feel like somebody here Again, you or your person, take it as it resonates. Someone here wanted to move into a new direction completely on their own. They no longer wanted to be in a relationship. I feel like this relationship started to become very cutthroat. There was a lot of competition here in the recent past. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Devil. The reason why someone here chose to disconnect from this situation, there was a few factors. I feel, Taurus, you were holding on to this person, even though this relationship started to become very casual. There was something within your relationship that started to become very toxic, and as a result of that, someone started to close themselves off to you. And when this person started to close themselves off to you, you started to realize, you know what, maybe I'm better off on my own. Maybe I'm better off kind of just doing my own thing and going, you know, into my own direction. For others of you, this is about you constantly giving to this relationship. And no matter how many times you tried to give to this relationship, yes, it was moving into a... Um, moving into a direction of success but at the same time the more you would give to the situation the more this person would become closed off so there's something here about you releasing this person and that may have been the reason why the five of pentacles is showing up as your challenge because you may need to release this person or situation um, because of the factors there's something here about factors beyond your control affecting the connection in the past was there a strong connection of course there was but at the same time there's something here about timing, like you wanted something at this time and this person wanted something at this time. And, and it's about you and this person kind of working together to get to that place, right? So in the past, I feel as much as you gave to the situation, it wasn't really giving back to you, okay, in the same capacity. Now, in the present moment, I do strongly feel something here is coming to an end. And this is why your challenge is the Ten of Swords and you have the Ten of Swords in the present moment. So for many of you, something here that's been super, super painful, excuse me, is coming to an end and you want to make sense of it. You're like, I need answers. I want to know why this is happening. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords in the present moment. So the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Justice, okay? So in the present moment, there's a divorce for some of you. There is a painful ending that's taking place. But one of the things that I see is even though this ending is happening, it is going to bring a lot of stability back into your life. Because I think, Taurus, 
what you've been looking for lately is that stability, that that balance, that structure. That's what you've been looking for. And most importantly, you've been looking for some sort of happiness here. So you may be in the present moment or you may be dealing with someone here. I see a Capricorn, a Leo or a Libra. Okay. Or someone who embodies this type of energy. Again, signs are just energy. They're not, doesn't necessarily mean me predicting your person. Okay. Cause it is a general reading. So there's something here about you wanting to set something right, or this person wanting to set something right, even though it is coming to an end. Okay. So I'm getting intuitively here. You're being set free from something here. That's really affected you on a deep level. Tell me more about the page of swords. Page of Swords is clarified by the Two of Wands. You have the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. So in the present moment, I really do strongly feel that there is a separation. You're trying to make sense of why the separation is happening. Someone here, for some of you, you're dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person's quick to react. They're quick to make conclusions and assumptions. And you may be in this place of, okay, well, if you're just going to make assumptions, then we might as well just end things. Okay. So this person, they're very logical, whoever this person is that you're dealing with, and there's a choice or a decision that needs to be made. But again, for many of you, you're dealing with an Aquarius. Aquarius is really strong here or Gemini. And you have the Knight of Swords here. So the Knight of Swords is not the greatest energy. It's someone who kind of rushes and doesn't really think about what they're doing. Okay, and that's why something's coming to an end, because as much as you want things to come back into balance with you and this person, and mind you, some of you have been in a relationship with this person for years, okay, and now it is coming to an end. So there's something here that's beyond your control that's happening. It's not the greatest news, but it's going to set you free. And I think that's what you're looking for. Tell me more about this person in the present moment for Taurus. Who is this Knight of Swords energy? The Knight of Swords is clarified by the Five of Wands. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Here you are. So you and your person were on the same page in the past, but for some reason in the present moment, you're not. You, Taurus, are moving so slowly to, towards this person or vice versa. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is you. I feel like you're moving towards the situation extremely slow. Your person doesn't like that. They want things to kind of hurry up and move forward. But at the same time, there's so much conflict. There's so much conflict about, you know, how much you're offering, how much you're giving. Are you moving forward? Are you not moving forward so again there's something here about you and this person not being on the same page like same as it was in the past and as much as you tried to make things work in the past it looks like it did but you you still end up in the same place with this person of you know um again this person has a very high expectation of what they want from you and if you're not able to deliver to this person on the time when they want it and how they want it then it kind of leaves this stalemate energy and that may be the reason why something here is coming to an end Okay, so let's talk about the near future. Now in the near future, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not the greatest energy. Some of you may watch this reading and say, I don't even want to hear about the future if it's not good. Don't do that because there may be something here that you need to learn and know so that you can overcome the challenges. Okay, that's what life's all about. It's about overcoming challenges, trials and tribulations so that you can move to the next level. If we just overlook our challenges and we always want things to be perfect, then we're not being realistic. Okay, because we're here for a reason. We're all have incarnated on this plane so that we can improve ourselves. And that's what the whole entire channel is about. Okay, so in the near future, you have the eight of swords and the nine of wands with the nine of swords. So there's something here that you know is coming to an end. Whether you want it to come to an end or not, it is coming to an end because it's just not sustainable. Tell me more about the eight of swords. Why is it here in the near future for Taurus? So the Eight of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Hierophant. So it's interesting, right? Because in the near future, you and this person that you know, by the way, things are ending in the present moment, it's very painful. There's a comeback around again. So this person's going to come back around again. And you're going to think about it. You're going to say, hmm, well, you know, maybe we can work it out this time. Maybe there's a possibility here. The problem that I'm seeing here, Taurus, and here you are with the Hierophant, the problem that I'm seeing is that a lot of you are committing yourself to something here that you know isn't good for you. Okay. And I'm just going to keep it real. 
at the end of the day, all I do is I'm, I'm only a medium. I'm only here to show you the energies of what I see. And then you're um, meant to make the decisions thereafter. Okay. So in the near future, is there a reconciliation? Yes, there is. But even though you're reconciling with this person, you're still second guessing whether or not you want this. And the reason why is because there's something here that leaves you in this place of feeling alone. Anyways, some of you are like, I just want to be with someone. I don't care if things aren't working out. I'll just stay with this person. Cause at least I'm with someone. You also have to recognize that if you're with someone and you're committed to something and you still feel alone or you still feel like this is not really for you, then you need to make sure that you're reevaluating the situation, not only just for the benefit of yourself, but the benefit of the relationship and the other person as well. OK, so I see you coming back together with this person, but there is so much anxiety, fear, and there's this this there's some sort of cycle. It keeps happening over and over again, and you're trying to make sense of why it keeps happening. Um, that is going to affect the ability for you and this person to have a successful reunion. Tell me more about the nine of wands. What is the important message here for Taurus in the near future? So the nine of wands is clarified by the seven of wands, the strength and the four of cups. You see, here's the issue in the near future. As much as you and this person are like, yay, we're coming back together. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be great. The issues that you and this person were facing or are facing presently and from the past are still going to be there. And one of the things that you don't recognize here in the near future is something here keeps happening over and over and over and over again. And you're like, why does this keep happening? I don't understand why this keeps happening. The reason why it keeps happening is because there's something here that is calling you to set boundaries, whether that's you or your person, somebody here needs to set boundaries. They need to find the strength within themselves to set those boundaries. And I feel like this is you. Eventually here in the near future, I see someone rejecting the other person and that's gonna be your sign, okay? So as, as difficult as it is, excuse me, for you to recognize that you need to create boundaries, to recognize, you know, ask yourself, why do I feel isolated? Why do I feel like I'm on my own? Again, whether this is you or your person, Something here comes to a halt and it's showing you, right? It's showing you, look, you know, when there's like 10 different signs and they're all pointing to the, the same thing and you keep kind of ignoring it. That's what I'm getting here in the near future. It's like you're ignoring something that, you know, needs to come to an end and you're almost there's this energy here in the near future of you. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, torturing. It's like you're torturing yourself, you know? Uh, so again, Knight of Cups in reverse. Someone here is choosing to emotionally disconnect from you. That's one sign. Somebody here is not interested in an offer that you're making. Uh, that's another sign. Seven of, of Wands. Somebody here starts creating boundaries. Eight of Wands. Somebody here is constantly isolating themselves. So if you don't see the signs and synchronicity showing you that the situation is not for you, then you only have yourself to blame. Okay, you only have yourself to blame. And this is why the nine of swords is here in the near future, because it's like some situation that is not, no, it's not normal. It's causing you this anxiety and you're ignoring it. But Monica, it's going to get better. I feel it's going to get better. Is it okay? If you feel it's going to get better, then go ahead. But if the signs and synchronicities in the near future are showing you it's not for you, then you can choose to ignore them or you can choose to accept Okay, and that's going to be the hardest thing for you. And that's why the Ten of Swords is your challenge with the Seven of Cups, because it's confusing. It's like, well, why is this coming to an end? Why do I feel like I need to leave the situation? It's almost like you're being forced to disconnect from something here you know is not good for you. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Why is it here in the near future for Taurus? So the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Tower, and the Ace of Cups. You see... The tower, when it shows up, it means there's something in your life that's breaking down. It's inevitable. There's change, okay? And when change comes, if we're not, here's the thing, moderation. This is the problem with society today, okay? Nobody wants to recognize when something isn't for them. They want to try to force it to work, try to make it work, force it and force it and force it until the tower happens. And the tower here is about you finally being released, from this pressure in the near future. And it's not you being released Taurus by yourself. It's something that happens in your life that starts to break down. And then you're like, oh, okay, I get it now. So all the signs are there that something here isn't for you, but you keep pushing it. There's forgiveness here in the near future. 
as hard as it may be, there's forgiveness. And once you forgive this person and they forgive you and you release them, that's when new love is going to come in. But it's difficult for you, right? Because there's something here you're comfortable with and you don't want it to change, but it will force you to have to accept some sort of change. Okay. It's not the easiest reading, but that's what I'm seeing. So let's get some advice. What is the advice here? So the advice is the nine of pentacles, the eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. A lot of you are being called to spend time on your own, to focus on advancing yourself and working on yourself. Uh, eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles is all about self-love, working on oneself, working on the energies within yourself to become the best version of yourself. And I did mention that throughout the reading before you decide to take action in any way, shape or form in your life, you need to reevaluate what you want. What's most important is not so much what everybody else wants, but what does Taurus want? What do I want? What is good for me? Once you determine what is good for you, then you can reevaluate whether or not something is a part of your life. Is it for you? Because if it doesn't work for you and it doesn't advance your sense of worth and sense of self, because that's where you're being called to focus right now, to focus on your, se your self-worth, your sense of self, working on yourself every day, not just going along and following behind somebody. There's something here about you going along and following the crowd. Follow you. You're your own person. Okay. So your biggest piece of advice, Taurus, is to continuously work on you. And once you have a picture and a vision of what's good for you, then you can kind of step back and say, okay, now I know what I want and what's good for me. Is this situation what I want for myself? Not, not is this situation good? Can I put myself here and then I'm going to fit in? No, it's about you living your life and what's good for you is just going to naturally come to you. It's not something that you have to feel like, oh, well, maybe I might fit in here. No, 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 no. If something's for you, it's going to work for you, not because it works for them, but because it works for you. That's what you're being called to do, because at the end of the day, all you have is you. You're born alone and you're going to die alone. This is the reality. I know it's not the greatest message, but the reality is work on yourself and then determine, is this for me? And, it, and, and if it's not for you, that's okay. That means continuously work on yourself until you find a situation or scenario that fits for you, because not everything is going to fit, fit for you. You're a unique person. And that's what spirit's asking you to remember. Okay. So Taurus, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.